The Social Quiz plugin is designed to help you create quizzes that are non-scientific and fun that people can take and share with your friends on social networks. For example, here's one of those quizzes that we created. People answer and they get their results and are offered to share them on your Facebook stream or by tweeting it. So let's take a look at how this plugin works. After you install the plugin, you will see two items here on the admin tab. One is questions and one is the social quiz itself. Before you do anything, if you've just installed the plugin, we head on over to settings and you will want to enter your Facebook app ID. These instructions will be included in your user guide. And we'll make sure we want to save the changes. The app ID is not necessary, but it will allow people to share more information after they finish taking the quiz. Before you start creating your first quiz, it's always a good idea to sit down and map out your questions, what you want to ask, how the scoring is going to be, and what the final results are going to be. To cut this video short, I've already prepared all that behind the scenes. My quiz is going to be, how adventurous are you? So the first thing I need to do is go to questions and start adding a new question. My first question for people is, so I want to know what they do if they are served unfamiliar food that you do not recognize. And for this question, I want the answers to be in text format. So I'm going to select text and I'm going to enter the possible answers that they can choose from. So my first answer is going to be refusing politely. And I'm going to enter a score of one. This will be on a low end. And then I'm going to add another answer that they can, they can select. And I'm going to give it a score of 10. And that's all I want the choices I want to give them. You can add as many choices as you want. So we just want to create a very, very simple uh, quiz here. And so we keep our questions and answers simple. So I'm happy with that. I'll hit publish. And then I'm going to add another question. This time I'm going to ask them what they do when they find a zip line. Again, I want the answers to be text. I'll give this answer a score. I'll add the second answer and I'll give it a high score and I'll publish it. So we have two questions now. I'm going to add a third and this is going to be my final question for them. This time I want my answers to be in image form. So I'm going to select to upload an image. First image I will select is this that's already been uploaded and I'm going to give it a low score. Next image, I will browse and upload an image that's on my computer. And I would simply drag and drop it in here and use this image. And I'm going to give this a high score and I'm going to hit publish. If I go to all questions now, I will see a list of questions that I've created before and a list of questions I just created a minute ago. Questions are designed to be able to for you to reuse over and over in different quizzes. Now that we've finished creating our questions, we'll go ahead and create the quiz proper. So we go to social quizzes and click add new and we'll give the quiz a title, which we said before is how adventurous are you? And then I can give the quiz a short description here. Now that I've given it a description, I can go down here and you're being asked for another description. This is just for Facebook. This first description we, we just entered is for the page itself. So if you want to, you can simply copy and paste the description, but you can also change it up because this is what appears when people share on Facebook. Next thing I need to do is select the questions which I've created earlier. So I'm gonna select those. If I wanna remove any of these that I added by mistake, I can simply click the minus icon. I'm going to add it back. And if I want to reorganize my questions, I can simply click on the plus sign and drag and drop. After I selected my questions, I need to score the quiz. So I have three questions with a possible low end score of three and a possible high end score of 30. So I'm going to give three possible responses. So a minimum of zero to 10. I'm going to tell them, and you might want to enter a more fun description for the score. And I'll add a mid range of 11 to 20. 
And finally, I'm going to give them a high score starting on 21 to 30. Again, if you want to remove something, just simply click that. And now we're done with our quiz. We'll just hit publish. Once the quiz is published, we can check it out and we can actually take the quiz ourselves. And after they finish taking a quiz, they click get results and they'll see their result and they can finally share it on Twitter or they can share it on Facebook. And that's it. I hope you and your visitors have a lot of fun creating and taking these quizzes. <laughs>